Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. Alright, how's it going, boyos? Today we're gonna be talking about credit farming in Warframe. Now, this is kind of for the mid tier player. Uh, you've kind of done a little bit of the story, you're around Neptune, Pluto ish area, and you kind of want to start farming it up and whatnot. So, that is going to be the main focus for today. If you are a beginner, I recommend you stay more towards your questing and, and that sort of situation. Money will just kind of fly into your pocket um, through that, but overall once you get to about neptune that's when you want to start worrying about money because that's towards the end of the game and where you're going to be worrying about building weapons warframes that sort of situation so we'll be talking about that so when it comes to credit farming the index is going to be your main and i mean your absolute main money making method if you want to make the big bucks the index is going to be how you do that now there is a particular setup to this because you can't just bring any old hunk of junk over here to try and handle biz because it just becomes tedious it becomes a bit annoying and i highly recommend you also just go with a team just because if you don't have everything up to speed you're going to be probably suffering more than anything else so if you have a team that knows what they're doing has decent warframes then you'll have more fun as well as more money in your pocket now how the index works is you have low risk, medium risk, and high risk. This is basically Warframe gambling. So you put up the money and then you will get a profit. Generally for me, I always go high risk because I'm big baller like that. It's not really, I only have like 2 million, but I like to bet on everything because it is what it is. You know, I'll just make the money back if I have to. So it's not really that difficult. If you guys are worried about credits and you're not all about that big baller lifestyle, then just go low risk and you, you, it's easy. You'll still fucking return 100k and if you have a booster you guys will if you go high risk investment it's like 500k or some shit like that and it, you just you make hella bank if you have a booster so highly recommend if you really want a lot of money put on a booster put up the plat just do it because you will make a shit ton as long as, long as you're good at these high risk investments so how we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna show you the maximum amount here. We're gonna go ahead and bet 50K, and then our potential profit, and when I say potential, our guaranteed profit is 200K because I, I know what the fuck I'm doing, so it's not gonna be that hard. Oh, it looks like I actually got into a game where it's already just underway. So how this works is you basically take out enemies, and then you pick up whatever they're holding. It, it's kind of these little like green orbs, like you see one on the ground, the ground right here. You pick this up, and these are index points. Essentially, you're going to just, it's like team deathmatch. You just kill the enemy for the points, and then you turn in your points at your little entry area. That is the entire goal of this game, and also, this shit just freeze the fuck happened. Alright, well, typically it's not that hard when this game is fucking frozen. Jesus, I don't know what's going on here. Now, I'll go over the setup momentarily, but what I like to do is bring Rhino, I bring the War, the Amprex, and I just kind of just, you know, use War Cry and just scream everywhere and just kill everything along with my team. It's typically pretty easy and it's not really anything that difficult. If you have the right setup, like I said, this becomes a lot more simplistic and it's less of a chore and it's not so much about just being able to, you know, win the damn game versus actually you know just playing the the fucking I, I don't know what the word is here like it's this isn't really like th there's supposed to be some kind of difficulty here but there really isn't it's just it's supposed to be a competitive match between the, you know this person and the enemy team but it's realistically just kind of a rundown like if you do a stupid amount of damage it doesn't fucking matter it, it doesn't really matter at all what what you do you're going to be able to just kind of plow through everybody and all all the point of this is just to turn in all the points and you will only get a payout if you get a hundred points which we're way ahead and you also have to keep it on the timer because that's one of the main ways you're going to lose is because the timer runs out maybe your team isn't exactly putting the, their work in and they're just going really slow they're not doing a whole lot they're not killing they're not they're holding onto the points maybe for too long that's gonna be the downfall if anything else one thing to take note of is the more uh, index points you have the more your energy will drain so whenever you do get energy it's going to be uh less whenever you you know hold on to it because you're not going to be able to activate abilities and whatnot so you're going to want to make sure that if you rely heavily on war cry or your stone skin for rhino or whatever warframe you brought you're going to want to make sure that you at least are, are tanky enough to not you know die to everything that just walks down your path 
and my number one recommendation is always try and do this publicly if you have to do this solo it becomes a very very tedious but if you can do it then by all means i mean i can do it i just don't like to because it's fucking it's goddamn tedious is what it is but if you can pull it off then it's fine but i will always recommend do it with a squad because it's it's so it's so much easier because everybody works together they know how the game works and you don't got to worry about shit you just kind of coast through the game turn in your points when the, the timer's getting low and then just win the game that's, that's kind of like the the go-to strat here all right i'll turn my points in so that brings us up to 88 if somebody on our team has like 10 plus points then we win and, and there we go we win yeah this motherfucker's crazy as much as i'd like to go another round i'm just here for examples you know 200k in my pocket easy as fuck and there we go boyos we put up 50 grand and we walked away with 200 grand this for oh man this dude the, the secret weapon he actually carried the shit out of us then again i came in the game a little late but nonetheless easy as fuck credit farming is as long as you have the index and you can do it publicly this becomes so much easier well we're going to talk about the rhino setup because rhino rhino prime either one of these warframes will work and we'll talk about the Amprex setup war setup or which whatever weapon I'll, I'll go over some different options but all right so i'm using rhino prime here and how i have this setup is strictly duration uh and strength because you want to have enough duration for your war cry 60 seconds is well and i mean well over enough to fucking just mow through enemies and even so i didn't really use it all that much i popped it like once or twice and it was kind of whatever it worked but overall you don't need it because rhino prime's whole purpose here is you you need to be tanky that's the thing which is what his second ability stone skin allows you because it basically gives you armor and you are completely invincible as long as you have that armor value up and that's that's kind of it you want iron skin as much as possible and then roar whenever you can just for that extra bonus damage now as far as my amprex setup it's your standard you know crit damage build does a million damage you want to just have that high crit the, the crit multiplier and just you know corrosive because corrosive does a dick load of damage although them uh, is corpus so you may want to swap that around just to kind of fuck with that a little bit but that's you know nor here or there i was using corrosive and it works perfectly fine granted this is five forma so this is a big and i mean a big setup here so you're going to obviously maybe need to either put some time into the amprex or you're going to want to switch weapons which i'll talk about here in a second another decent setup that you guys may or may not want to check out is the archiplasma or this also does a buttload of damage you got heat damage radiation corrosive all together this belt just kind of does it all and it's no forma best of you know the the whole situation i am rocking the prime point blank you don't necessarily need that you could replace it with regular point blank but nonetheless the archiplasmor does a dick load of damage so you guys can also use this as well although i would recommend building a little bit more status and kind of just sorting that out but it's still pretty good now as for melee weapons, which some of you guys might be huge melee heads out there, I typically run the war every time I use Rhino because the Rhino's a big boy, the war is a big blade, so it goes hand in hand, baby. Now the way I run the war is just the, the raw damage, just bust it down, speed, just super damage and speed. I run Spoiled Strike, even though this gives me negative attack speed, but I make up for it with Berserker. Now you might be wondering, that crit chance though, you only get that attack speed if you get that fucking crit, but, 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 let me tell you something, you will still be able to fucking crit like crazy and rack up that 75% attack speed. Trust me, I do it all the time, it's literally no fucking issue. And even if you don't, just fucking put Heavy Trauma on here, Collision Force, and just, uh, you know, mod for whatever specific status you want, and the, the, the weapon will speak for itself. Temple Royale War is ridiculously strong. Now, if you guys don't have the war, you guys can also bring Galantine Prime. Another good option is just th this weapon. Slash is super good right now, and then just mod accordingly to whatever status you want, and you guys will still have a good time. 
And the last uh, option I'm gonna give you is the Redeemer Prime, or even just a regular Redeemer. Uh, the Redeemer just is a good weapon right now. So if you have the proper mods for it, just use this weapon. It's super fucking strong. You use Bullet Dance, and then you put a bunch of status mods on it. It just becomes this monstrous destructo weapon that just does it all. It's a really, really good weapon. All right, that pretty much concludes farming credits. It's relatively simple once you get the index missions. I will go over a separate method for those of you that don't want to run index missions for whatever fucking reason, but that's for a separate shorter video. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.